hi students coming to the next topic that is the type expressions and the type system so what is the type expressions let's see the type expression denotes the type of a language constructor okay the type expression expression well denotes the type of language constructor so what type of language constructor or you are using that will denotes the type expression so this type expression may be uh, type expression may be a basic type or a normal type basic type or a type name so this type expression can be we can use a basic type expression or the type name expression nothing but the type constructor so the basic type is you call it as a primitive data types that you are using like uh, uh, so here in the basic type uh, is a type expression for like integer real boolean character float so those are all comes under the basic type expressions okay so the type expression denotes the type of the language constructor so here there are two types of type expressions one is a basic type and another is a type constructor the basic type is a type expression for like integers real boolean and character so the basic type void suppose if you take the void uh, the basic type void represents the empty set and allow statement to be checked so void means it is just an it returns it doesn't return anything it's an empty set okay and it is allowing the statements to be checked the type expression can be associated with the type names so nothing but the type constructor so the type constructor constructor applied to the type expression is a type exp expression so let's see what are the different type names that will be associated so here the basic type includes integer real boolean and the character whereas the type names includes the arrays okay so the type names will be included the different types like arrays product record pointer or in the function so on. okay so type name is also here is a type constructor so these are all you call it as a type expressions so the type expressions may be a basic type or a type name so let's see how the array will be used so let's take if t is a type expression then the array of i comma t is a type expression if you take t is a type expression then array of i comma t is a type expression array i comma t is a type expression which is denoting an array with an element of type t and the index range i so here i represents the index and t represents the type expression so let me take the simple example for this array so it can be represented as array let's take the index 1 to 10 of integer is assigned to the type expression what type of expression it is in the form of this like array 1 to 10 comma int int is a type expression so this is how you are representing the type expression so the array of index and here t is a type expression which is of data type integer means this is a basic type you call it as a this integer is a basic type and this complete expression is the type constructor type constructor okay so i i want to show you the main the difference between the basic types and the type constructors okay so now uh, the another thing is a function so if you take the functions if uh, it can be denoted like uh it's a domain and the range of the function everything will be denoted its type of the type a expression okay and if you take the pointers if t is a type expression then pointer t is a type expression so which pointer to an object of a type t so like that so whatever the variables that you are taking that denotes a type expression so if you place that variables in an equation in a function or in, in an array in a pointer those complete structure you also call it as a type expression okay so this is about the type expressions now let's see the type systems 
type systems so what is this type systems the type systems is nothing but it's a collection of rules for assigning the type expression collection of rules for assigning type expression so to assign a type expression they need a collection of rules those the collection of rules you call it as a type system so here a type system provides a concise formalization of the semantic checking rules let's see the different components of type systems components of type system so the different components of type system is i said what is a type system a type system is a collection of rules assigning for the type expression okay so the type expressions means it's nothing but it's a expressions the type collection of type expressions you call it as a type system so the components for here is the basic type and the type constructor so these are all the type expressions different types of expressions or comes under the components of the type system basic type type constructor and the type evaluation also type equivalence not evaluation type equivalence okay so here uh, that basic type i already explained the different types basic type expressions or integer character float all comes under the basic type then what about the type constructor the type constructor is also i explained that like arrays structures variables uh, functions strings records all comes under the type constructor then what about the type equivalence the type equivalence is again is having the two different types of equivalence will be there okay so one is the structural equivalence and another is the non name equivalence name equivalence and the structural equivalence okay so the name equivalence is nothing but if a variable is assigned to one data type and uh, let's take an example let's take the character a comma b a and b are two variables assigned to a data type character so suppose a is equal to capital a and this a will be assigned to b so which is a name equivalence both a and b handling the same name a this is a name equivalence structure equivalence means you just declare any structure with same name okay you can use this concept in the pointers also so this is about the type system you just type system is nothing but a collection of rules for assigning type expressions okay the different components of type system is basic type type constructors and the type equivalence thank you